Man, I am just not getting OBS. Metso and Forge make it look so easy. I, I don't know what to do. All right, let's see what we got here. OBS for dummies. All right. Time to start watching some videos and start reading my book. Maybe then I'll be as good as them. Will Graveyard remember to do sound checks? Will he remember to hit record, or will he screw it up again? These questions and more will be answered on the next Kyber Cave Gaming presents The Retro Alcove. Welcome to what we were calling take two of Mega Man X. Uh, we had some technical if issues last time, so we're going ahead and doing this again. I am here. I'm Graveyard. I'm here with Fours, and let's get this party started. Mega I'm ready to dig in. Yes. Yes. Great game. Love this game so much. <laughs> this has got to be one of my all-time favorite beginning levels of any video game. Yeah, no doubt. The music is on. The music's on point. The visuals are on point. Just the whole, just the whole atmosphere. It works. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. You just know exactly what you're getting into. Just everything across the board. I mean, from what well, last time we saw Mega Man was Mega Man Six. You know, at that point, and yeah, just a great intro. Because Mega Man Seven wasn't wasn't until after this, right? Mm hmm. So they knew exactly how to hook us from the very beginning. You're not even kidding. <laughs> you know, this is one of the perfect four ways into the Super Nintendo for anyone that had a franchise on the NES. I I can't think of a I mean, obviously Super Mario World is a great game too, but Link to the Past. Yeah. Super Nintendo was one of those just dominating eras of video games. I mean, it just... Oh, it, yeah. it, was, it was revolutionary. No, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we always give you know a bunch of crap to NES for having a lot of bad games because you had almost 800 of them. This had quite a high number as well. And let's face it, oh, not all of them were good. Most systems had a high number of just trash titles, and most of them were third party. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> but no, like I said, I spent countless hours playing this game at my friend's house when I was growing up. Because we didn't have any games as kids for these systems. Uh, yeah, I, I lived in the era of rental. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, rental was was absolute key. But for for you know me, I could never rent anything. First of all, I didn't have the systems. Um, but getting a, a grow up to drive us to rent mm -hmm. the games too was hard. Then having the money to rent it, <laughs> but, which back then was three dollars and twenty one cents. Was it? But yeah, like I said when I got a Super Nintendo, this was the very first game I got. It was this right here? Because to me, it is <laughs> absolute masterpiece. It's funny you can die the vial if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. And. I think I have a pretty fast uh, X Buster finger. <laughs> I said I could be using the turbo, but I refuse to. X no. <laughs> That's always my met merit of testing, you know, emulators and stuff like that. Which is this is a real system, real game. Um, is how fast I was able to shoot with my X Buster. <laughs> I mean, this is like with the uh, Super Analog. 
you know, this was the game I had to test just to see how it compared. Like I said, I knew this game inside and out, sound, feels, everything. So always my go-to test. Even though I got the uh, the Superboy, was that what it called? The uh, portable Super Nintendo that came out about 12 years ago? I didn't even know something like that came out. Hyperkin, yeah. Um, I have three of them. Just because I, I wrote a review at that time for uh, Nintendo Age, the website. Oh, okay. So I wrote a... I was the first one to get it on the site as an admin or a mod. And, uh, yeah. They, people gave me, like, a list of games to try out to see what worked and what didn't. Um, and because, you know, Super Nintendo had all those chips in there, that was always a hard thing to always play well. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and those chips... And, and for example, uh, I believe it was Star Fox, Mario RPG, mm-hmm. and a couple others Stunt that required... Rate. Stunt Rate FX was one. Yeah. Um, there was a Kirby game as well. I don't remember which one. But so I had all of them, so people were like, yeah, test this out, gotta test this out. And I did. And lo and behold, I found out a little secret about Super Mario RPG. What was that? There was a version 1.1. How about that? No one heard of it. Because I had one that did not work. I had one that did work. <laughs> so I had two copies. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I dissected it and posted in it, pictures on the internet and trying to find people with, like, a different versioning. And I started a whole craze of people opening it up to see what version they had. It's pretty cool. Always start with the dash. Because we got the dash for the first time in Mega Man 2? 3. 3 is 3? Okay. But, back, but back then it was the slide. Right. I like that just becomes after this just becomes a staple in the Mega mm-hmm. Man games. Which it should have been after three anyway. Yeah. But they probably couldn't think what else to do with the uh, armor parts for the leg. Alright. Not that I can get it right now, but I don't like going through this. I can't remember the last time I've been in there. Because screw it. Exactly. Exactly. Why face enemies if you don't have to? Note, ladies and gentlemen, as Champion literally, or as Graveyard literally champions his way through this uh, game. <laughs> oh, Almost. Oh, yeah, how to speak. Just... I had to say something. <laughs> you did. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I was like all proud of my weight loss this week, and then I turn around and ate Popeyes. It's like, oh, nice job, Force. You know, sometimes you gotta. It's just, I'll burn it off tomorrow. There you go. See, that's all that matters. Ah, chill, Penguin. <laughs> Smack. Ooh, off the top. This poor bastard. Still hit him. That's all right. You can do your blizzard. I don't care. Yeah. Throw up your eyes. Two in a row, huh? He done. Yeah, you can get a wow. Oh, <laughs> that's a big fat nope. I almost took my first hit to that <laughs> in the boss fight. I refuse. Yes. Ba-da, ba-da. Even the weapon selection, what you're showing music, is just awesome. So how much longer till Bit Brigade? 
Uh, Friday. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Talk about your Black Friday treat. Oh, I know. I'm That's gonna be disgusting. I'm stoked. Mega Man 2 and Castlevania. I can't ask for two oh, better games. Oh, you can't ask for better. No, I mean, I, Storm I, Eagle. Storm Eagle, absolutely. He's always my second one. Ready. Just be. I'm so used to that X4 voice. Oh, yeah. Ready. Storm Owl. Yeah. Yep. Storm Owl was not fun to play <laughs> against. <laughs> but that's why you're going to be doing the evens. I'm going to be doing the odds. Which... Oh, you got to take on three. I know. I've been practicing not doing so hot. <laughs> I'm just going. Everyone's like, oh, you can you can spam, you know, Blizzard Buffalo. And, you know, you jump right. He just gets confused, rams to the wall. I can't do that trick. It is so hard. Well, I, you know, all those, com those completionists. <sighs> That's me. <laughs> I am definitely a completionist. But right. so you're gonna be getting X2 and be recording that next session. Yup. Soon. First E tank. Oh wow, they're in not giving me two of the flamethrowers. Okay. I'll screen it. Like I said, this level's just finicky because I remember first playing this falling off a lot because you didn't know where anything was. Mm -hmm. You know, just the exploration, which is why I just love this game to no end. And they really thought all of this through. Oh, absolutely. Life, which we'll All need. All that for our life, which is hilarious. I mean, we'll need it. Not, not for purposeful deaths. Hopefully, not like we did in part one, where I kept dying to that stupid underwater tank or submarine, or <laughs> that ridiculous amount of backtracking that has to be done in two. Yeah. Uh, from what I've been playing and watching up on three is even worse. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, just to beat uh, Blizzard Buffalo, you can get the E tank in his stage because you can get the leg upgrade first. So you can get the E tank. Nice helmet upgrades. Go ahead and break these blocks. Always break all of them. <laughs> because why not? Exactly. Um, but yeah, that that was just insane for Blizzard Buffalo. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do it. It might be the first time me beating X3, but... Oh, we'll make it happen. Yeah. I don't care if we gotta switch out. <laughs> we may I'll have tell you to. What, you, you play these four, I'll play these four, and we'll somehow make this work. It's, it's gonna remind me of... It's cold here. Uh-huh. I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at my frostbitten yard. <laughs> What's it, like hey. 60? 54, I'll oh. have you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have me beat by 40 degrees right now. I would love to be there. And that, ve that may very well be a trip when one weekend. You never know. That'd be cool. 
Don't, most people don't come up north to me. <laughs> hey, I'm surprised enough I'm flying out west as it is. I mean, that's going to be epic. It will. I hope you bring a picture of me just to have to throw into the pictures. Are you kidding me? You're <laughs> gonna be on. You're gonna be on my screensaver on my phone the whole time. I'm gonna okay. put. I'm, when, we, when we take selfies, I'm gonna be like this. There you go. That works. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. No damage from Storm Ingle. Yes. <laughs> and one of the most OP weapons in this game. Yeah. I call it the problem solver. Oh yeah, just multi combo everything. kills everything mm -hmm. practically one shot. And if it's not killing everything in one shot, that flamethrower will. Oh yeah, it is. It is truly the definition of a problem solver. Yes. All right, who's next on our list of victims? Mm, who do I want to do next? I think I'm doing. Flame. Well, the sh well the ship crash the ship crashes into this dude's level, right? No, no. Chill no, penguin crashes into Spark Band. Uh -huh. so Chill penguin freezes this level over. Yes. Yep. Because that gets me the easy heart, the sub tank, and the mega buster. Yep. So and then is... you are well on your way to Hot Oken. I can't tell you last time I played this level when there's molten steel or lava everywhere. It's just not what I do. <laughs> It'd be really fun just to try to do this, except for Sigma, X Buster only. Oh, that's brutal. Easier, probably the easiest Mega Man game to do it. I think be brutal to do no heart tanks <laughs> now chill penguin being defeated is literally the only way you can get mm -hmm. um, that heart tank right yeah first try <laughs> look at those <laughs> reflexes <laughs> unreal just you should be ashamed. I am ashamed of you little girl are you calling me a little girl? That's fine. No, my daughter's all <laughs> flexing her muscles at me because she's all like danced up and she's yeah. got no fat on her. She's got she's like two she's like two percent body fat. It's disgusting. No, we're on the internet. Go away. <laughs> I mean, when I was a teenager, I had zero fat. <laughs> yes, and we're literally on the internet right now. Go. <laughs> I would love, dude, I would love to get down to like 8% body fat. That would be, that would be like the ultimate fours. There you go. That ain't happening. You know what I'd have to do? Like I would have to be a complete and total vegan, eat one time a day. That's a 24 hour fast every day. And then do the Sylvester Stallone workout set he did for Rocky Four. Every mean, day of the week. Yeah. I like food sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I just got booze, I'd be much better, but as a brewer, I, hard, I find it very hard to do that. Although, I, I do have to give credit to Mrs. Forrest, because she did get she did manage to get me to give up dairy. I have been dairy-free for a week. A week? A whole week. And according to the studies, fun fact, it takes three whole weeks for any traces of lactose or dairy to be completely out of your body. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can um, do that. I'm a Dutch man. I can't get rid of my cheese. Oh, I miss <laughs> cheese so much. I mean, other than cheese, I don't really do dairy, so... Now, what if I told you, Mega Man related, yes. because, you know, uh, we, are, we are both members of the Kyber Cave, and we're mm -hmm. always looking at fun sabers but what if i told you there is a way to build paint and have powder coated zero saber uh yes please mm-hmm 
Um, I've been talking with some folks, and it can happen. And there are literally three font makers out there who've already made more than one zero sound font. Really? Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. And I'm I'm also in the midst, uh, in the midst of making one as well. Oh man! Because you know X is the best thing ever. Exactly. Oh look, it's our next victim. <laughs> I don't know. He may kill me. You never know. <laughs> well, it's effective because, you know, rather than freezing the guy out with ice, we're going to blow out the fire with wind. Yes. Which is something you should never, ever do. <laughs> what? He's, he can jump for a big boy. Oh, he did. Oh, I'm not going to jinx this, but that's three flawless bosses. <laughs> you win. Perfect. Exactly. Please tell me you're going to edit that in. That would be <laughs> oh, so yes. amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. And we get the fire. <laughs> uh, give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which graveyard desires. Exactly. Exactly. That may have been one of my wrestling theme songs. Just FYI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if you look hard enough, you can find me as a backyard wrestler in an under graveyard. That's sick. <laughs> it's hard right, to find, buddy. though. I'm going to mute me for just a moment. Right. And I will be right with you. Okay, cool. So, since we killed Storm Eagle, his ship crash landed into here, and so we get periodic blackouts. Usually, we have no blackouts, and there's electricity going through the floor, which is harder to um, travel through. But, since we have that, everything goes black. We get these awesome guys. We're just going to like that thing. As you can see, Storm Eagle's ship is crash landed there and causing this periodic blackouts. Which is just another way of elemental damage in this game, which is pretty awesome. I love it. But then we're going to get these little, I call them fireflies. I don't know what they actually are. I call him. Okay, I can never remember exactly where the edge is, but I'll have to play it safe. One there. And the lights should turn back on again. There we are. Here we get our first mini boss. Can't see my my storm, but it is going. Just like that, he is dead. The flame also works pretty well on that guy. I just like the tornado, just because it's so powerful. Come on, drop some health for me. Drop some health. Younger, I'd always use the tornado on them, but all right, there's a secret piece of heart right there. That is our third one. 
So we're almost halfway there with our heart pieces. Just wait for this to charge. There we go. Wow. Nobody's dropping health for me. There we go. Mandrill is coming up and his weakness is the ice. Makes pretty light work of him. As long as I could miss his sparks, I should be perfectly okay. And here we go. I always bounce off the wall, just for whatever reason. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you kill Spark Angel. Relatively easy. For here, we are going to get another fantastic weapon. We get Electric Spark. Which is Sigma's First form's secret weapon, essentially. All right. Let's go ahead. And get armored Dillo out of the way. Which his weakness is the spark that we just obtained. And see how we're doing with lives and sub tanks. All right, you can see we almost have two sub tanks full. It took me an entire level to make that freaking bed. Really? Uh huh. Wow. Once again, once again, a flawless run. Just so you know, uh, flawless on the boss. That is perfect. <laughs> Sub tanks are almost full. There's the second one filled. Useless weapons now. Useless tanks, but. You know, in almost every single recording I'm in, or every Kyber Cave I'm in, or whatever, I'm either wearing black or gray. It's sad. Most of my shirts are that color. But I'm gray. Fuck. <laughs> You know, I imagine if you played Yu-Gi-Oh, you'd be running a zombie deck. Which something tells me you would be. Oh, I run black decks in uh, Magic. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> it's I, I I lean towards the macabre. I I can't deny that. It's just darkness fascinates me, and darkness in people and everything else. The blackness. Of souls. Exactly. Invite the darkness. <laughs> and feast on total destruction. I mean, Sale and I were discussing this. What, he's like, you know, do you believe in the idea of great Jedis? It's kind of wishy washy to say such a thing, right? Either usually one or the other. I'm chaotic, neutral at best. <laughs> I can use nasty bloody Sith powers with no consequence. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I'm hey. a good guy who force chokes. Mm -hmm. It's just a it's just a tool of the arsenal. <laughs> oh, three sub tanks full. I guess. Well, but what kind of deck do you typically run? In what, Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Gosh, uh, 
I favor Dark Magician, but I'm not particularly good at using it. Um, and X Sabers. Okay. Do you ever play Magic? I haven't played Magic in probably 25 years. Probably like when it came out. Pretty much. Yep, I remember going to my comic book shop and they were there, picking them up. I'm like, oh, these look cool. <laughs> That's right. Do a quick adjust my chair. I am sinking. Front row. So what's the timing look like tonight? Run this and and run X2 or just run this? Uh, 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 run this, absolutely sure. <laughs> um, unless I provide my phone doesn't get stupid again. And then I should be good to run X2 with you after this. Just have to set it up. Did you see who the special guest is tonight? For what? Saber Rattle? Oh, um, I do not. It's Mezzo. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to tune into that. And, and it's a Saber giveaway. Definitely tuning into that. Okay, but then we're not running X2. <laughs> Actually, let me tell you what, we took a look at the time. Oh yeah, because we're what? Hour and 20 away from it? Yeah. Yep, our, well, usually they start about 9, 9.15 my time, so 10, 10, 15 your time. Should I show you the next saber that I have coming in? No, if you can show me. I don't have my one in yet. What? Are you kidding me? Straight out of Twilight Princess. Man. It's awesome. How many does that make for you now? Let's count. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. That'll be eight. Wait, wait, wait. Two get three getting installed. Nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Uh, how many do you think I have? <laughs> it's on its way. <laughs> that was yeah. I purchased that a while ago. Just another amazing soundtrack. I mean, this axe is just... Oh, Mega Man just as a whole just leads to such great music. Mm -hmm. That's why I said Bit for Grade's going to be freaking fantastic. Because I would say X or Mega Man 2 and then X is probably the best music wise in the series. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I have to agree. The only issue I take with 2 is that Bit Brigade plays Quick Man wrong. How so? Uh, their drum beat is off. Like too fast or just. Too slow. Too slow. Hmm. I'll have to listen to two again before I go Friday. Just to see. Now that's if they have the same drummer and they play it the same way. The the one that I heard was from like 11 years ago. Oh, okay. It's the one where they used to make everybody start with the Colossus Roar. Okay. It's been a while since I've listened to them, unfortunately. I don't know why. The fact that you get to go see them live is insane. I think we literally got the tickets a year ago. What? Yeah. And it was supposed to be July. And then everyone got everyone in the band got COVID. So they said, we're canceling it. And it's going to be Black Friday. You know? Okay. And that completes the armor set. Nope. Does it? 
Yes, it does. You're correct, sir. I am wrong. Well, if you want to call the the last piece part of the armor set. <laughs> oh, you know what we forgot to do? What's that? Forgot to let Zero give you the uh, the hands. And mm. fun fact, it, when you let Zero give you the hands, the gloves are red. And it does one, and it does 0.3% uh, more damage than you're doing right now. Just for the X-Buster, though. Mm -hmm. So you still get the same, like what you're doing right now, it's the same powers, but mm -hmm. it does more damage. How, you told me on the first recording, I don't remember how you can do that. What, how to get it? Yeah. Simple. Just don't get the uh, the X Buster upgrade. Just don't get it. No. Oh. Skip it and then let Zero upgrade you himself. So it's kind of like the gold armor in X3, where you don't get all the chips. If you get one of them, you can't get the gold armor, and the gold armor has all the chips built into it. Correct. And that gold armor is disgusting. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I am pixelating out badly. I mean, it's the retro alco. You can pixelate out all you want. <laughs> we encourage pixelation here. Which I have templates I am working on. Woo! And I'm um, going to upload it to the Google Drive so you and Metzo can see it. And we can kind of just do like a collaboration on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I am it. so ready for our first retro co-op game. Yes. That is killing me. Yes. I think I think if we just get through I mean it gotta be any time we can do that really. Although it said every hopefully next on call I'm not on call, so that won't be a thing anymore for me. So yeah, I mean, we're going to start live shows every Thursday. It's not a flawless run. Uh, well, I, I, I don't think I've ever been flawless against this guy. Quite honestly. He's just really hard to evade. Have you seen people do flawless runs in like the X, like, 5? Yeah, they, they disgust me. Oh, yeah. How's it not tool-assisted is my question. <sighs> exactly. But I am I am down for every Thursday. I have it on my calendar. I'm going to do live gaming. Either I'll be there in spirit, in chat, or with you. Dude, I'm enjoying Zelda so far. Yeah. So I have it. I get to play that version of it. Well, we got secret seashells to get. Have Have we missed any? I've only got one so far. But we haven't missed anything. Before. We should look before we continue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And you were commenting on our first recording that I use this weapon in strange places. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Which we will see. Alright. Since I have to backtrack, I'm just going to go ahead and get this heart. <laughs> I said, I don't know where I honestly got that from. Couldn't, couldn't tell you where. I decided to start doing that with his weapon just to be invisible for that entire section. It's just, like I said, play it so long, it's just muscle memory at that point. <laughs> it's literally a part of you. <laughs> it is a part of me. And someone's like, what's the best way to go through that section? I'd be like, alright, you get Steam complete his weapon and just do it. <laughs> Oh man, also we really, really, really need to do, which we're going to have to uh, 
probably alternate on that series is uh, not I call that Mario RPG. Let's face mm. it. Yes. And Paper Mario's. Never went through the Paper Mario's. Really? Nah. Just because it wasn't a Mario RPG. No, it's not that. It just it never really appealed to me. I just there did because it's just RPG and Mario. There should have been Mario RPG 2, uh, to be truthful. It, Paper Mario originally was. Yeah, Geo needs to come back. Mallow can stay away. I don't care about Mallow. That's, is he on your roster, though? No, my my original <laughs> roster was basically uh, Mario, King Koopa, and the Princess. Princess? Really? Yeah. I don't... I guess I, I got a done that. I got a tank, I got an attacker, and I got a healer. I do Bowser, Ooh. um, Mario, obviously, because you can't switch them out, <laughs> and Gino. I go tank and attack. I let my Gino. items. Gino is so sick. I let my uh, my items be my healers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go no deaths on this one. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's dialed in. You got this. I know. I, you can tell how rusty it was the first time. Yeah. Well, not only not only that, but uh, those guys they they died of that wind real quick. Yeah. Not as quick as I want, but true. If only I had a sub tank. Another trick I do is I'll jump above it. Like when they start vacuuming you in, I'll, ju I'll just go ahead and just jump straight above them with a charged up wind and just let that wind fly. Oh, I'm probably going to do that. That I was I was debating my next way of doing it. Because <sighs> this one's easy enough. Yeah, this one's nothing. And cook. Golly. And it's going so fast, the analog can't even pick it up. Exactly. It's that powerful. Alright, any day now. There we go. Done. Yes, yes. That's why I needed. <laughs> Double down! Yeah. Exactly why I, that way I don't have to use my X Buster on those stupid dragons. Bam, bam, bam. Oh my gosh! Oh come on! You can sub tank out of it. You're good. Sorry. Ain't like you I was gonna say, ain't like <laughs> you're not gonna get refilled. I know. Done. I'm not losing this time. Flawless. Flawless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's sturdy. He's got the armor. I know. You know what else? Uh, we may have to make a Sega CD run of some sort. Ooh. Because I've got Sega CD. Oh, wait, so do you. Yeah, I have a few of them. I got my Mega SG. We're good. There you go. Which does remarkable with Sega CD games. Does it? Uh-huh. Very first thing I did was play Lunar and Lunar 2. Really? Right off the bat, as soon as I got that thing. I played Batman. <laughs> uh, Batman Returns? Yeah. Just because I want to test the... Uh... CD capabilities, and that's the quickest thing I had available to me. I can't believe you never thought of doing this here. <laughs> no, I usually just put the flame on and just cook him from the front. You have a very nice, healthy, no damage way of doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sid, this has been playing this for 30 years. I'm okay at mm -hmm. this. 
I'm no expert at it, but I do okay. Hey, maybe a bit brigade, I'll bring you on for it. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> uh, what dragon? Uh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, this is. Like I said this is my game. Yeah, it is. I mean, you're gonna do Chrono Trigger. I have no question about that. Well, that's... yeah. You put me on an island for the rest of my life with enough food and supplies and two things to entertain me, it's gonna be Return of the Jedi and Chrono Trigger. That's yes. just how it's gonna be. Yes. And that's <laughs> that. Love it. Have you done all... Have you purposely tried to get all the endings in Chrono Trigger? I have gotten all the endings in Chrono Trigger, yes. Wow. And I did it when I was 15. That was a late title, wasn't it? Yeah, like, Super Nintendo was nearing the end of its lifespan when that game came out, which is another reason why it was just so incredibly good. Yes, I love that game too. You're definitely probably far better at it than I am. <laughs> it's just knowing where stuff is. Who's your party in that that you always go for? Um, you know, I actually... My playthroughs differed as I aged. Like, in the beginning, it was always Chrono, Luca, and Frog. Oh, Frog. Have to. You have to have that was that was my main party. It was always Chrono, Luca, and, Luca and Frog. Okay. As I got older, I started appreciating other aspects of the game, so I started carrying Isla with me all the time hmm. because she was just brute strength. Right. And what was nice about physical strength is that you don't have to worry about elemental weaknesses. So I would combine her with Chrono and Robo for the ultimate oh. destructive force. Robo, yeah. And then I got into the rocks and I started carrying Magus with me and we, mm -hmm. I would start using the Magus combos. Oh, that would devastate. But like, anytime I get anytime I get Isla, I carry her with me all the time because she's just so incredibly nasty. You you need a you need a stupidly strong ice attack, Isla. You need a stupidly strong fire attack, Isla. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, I probably have not played that in... Uh, have I played it in the 2000s? There you go. Have I played it in the 2000s? That's the question. I had to have played it in the 2000s. Did it come out been a lot of... Did it come out remasters of it. No, it came out in 1995. No, I'm saying, did it come out in the uh, Wii Channel? No, no, it um, the Virtual Console. No, no, it came out with um, a PS1 disc combined with Final Fantasy VI. That's right. Or five. No, five never came out, and anything other than Game Boy Advance with the American version. Five came out with four. On a PS1 disc because I still have it. Did it? Mm hmm. That's the only way I was ever able to play uh, 5. Hmm. Seems like I'd have that. Because we had no, Origins wait. that had 1 and 2. Yeah. Or is it 3 I'm thinking of that never came out on anything other than the Game Boy Advance? I need to mod my uh, Vita. I still have my Vita. I want to get the PS, uh, the, I want to get the PlayStation, the PSP version of Final Fantasy One, which, to in my opinion, was the very best version of that game ever made. Music, art, all of it, just it was it was the best. Yeah, Warrior of Light looked like a complete champion in that in that rendition. All right, so did you ever play Chrono Cross? I did not like Chrono Cross. 
since most people I got, knew the answer. <laughs> I was not a big fan of it. So you didn't like it as a sequel then, huh? Nope. Alright, the other thing you never saw before. <laughs> right? Using the rolling shield in here? Yeah. Never even thought of it. I typically just jump around and shoot those things. And I love the fact that rolling shield is either on or off when the capture card's trying to mm -hmm. capture it. Is it on? No one knows. It's on. <laughs> you can hear it. Love it. I think you just do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that. Makes things so much faster. And it doesn't wear off. Oh. Like, it's it's got a... Like, rolling shield has to be literally blasted off you by something powerful, right? Yeah. I use the two hardest pep... Two, two of the hardest parts in this level I, doesn't take any damage. I just use the Chameleon Sting and the Rolling Shield. Oh. oh. I was hoping I'd get it. This one's tricky. It is tricky, but it's okay. I'd but rather it not come back. It saves you from having to come back, yeah. Having to do it the boomerang way. Oh, come on. It's going to frustrate me. Put some speed behind it. Yes. <laughs> is, that a, is that a full tank or no? I went back for the heart. Yeah, that's everything. Nice. Can't see where I'm at. <laughs> Telling you that third screen that'll solve a lot of problems. Yeah, I know. All right, try time, time to drop this fool. Oh yeah. All right, just hide in my little corner. You got laughable. <laughs> Alright, that means I gotta backtrack to one place. Mm hmm? Get that last sub tank. And there is no other way to get that sub tank them without the boomerang. That was the one that took me probably six years to find. Ooh. Oh, there was an internet. <laughs> I mean, the internet was around, but I couldn't look it up. Nintendo Power! <laughs> okay, maybe that told you. It didn't tell me because I didn't have it. <laughs> Did Nintendo Power tell you where it was? Yep. Wow. That would be nice. My fr my buddy always says like, "Oh, my friend, my friend George knows exactly where it is." I'm like, "I'd never met this George." I'm like, "I don't know who this George is. He knows where it is. Where is it? He doesn't remember." Okay, then he doesn't know. He's then he doesn't know. know where it is. Exactly. I'm like, I don't know if this George exists. <laughs> he did exist. I found out <laughs> eventually. <laughs> But this is all I grew up with. And he's like, oh, my friend George. I'm like, I've known you 12 years. I've never met this George. Who is this George? Exactly. All right, do a quick fill here. Right. 
Oh, this can give me a life too. That's awfully nice of it. Thank you, bats. Thank you. I have a bat house in my backyard. I have a bat in there. His name is Bruce. <laughs> my and my family was like, "You have a bat? Yeah." I'm like, "His name's Bruce. Why is his name Bruce?" Uh, <laughs> I thought that's apparent. Guess not. Just one of those dad things, probably, right? <laughs> Saber rattle. Yeah. <laughs> well, who's going to pop in and say stuff if she's on the show? Because <laughs> you've been on it now. You've been on it, right? Yeah. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Twice. I, th I think the idea is to get all of us on it at least once. Mm hmm. The getting to know you section. So you want to get to know us? Freaking just get on uh, After Dark. That'll <laughs> that'll get you to know us real quick. Uh, a little bit, yeah. I'm All right. Ride this so, one. so I believe it's is was okay. Was it three, four, or five deaths? Do you remember? Three. Okay. Not that kind of death. <laughs> As you were there for a second, didn't I? Yes. As a matter of fact. So I don't ride those things. Oh, the trigger finger of greatness. Look at him go. <laughs> I dare say that's faster than the flame. Yeah. All right. Caught him! Alright, here we go. That Here's... was a flawless <laughs> run. And I have to do that now. <laughs> that was a flawless run. <laughs> so you put me behind this after so many times, I can just get better and better. Mm hmm. I almost need to have a camera on my controller. <laughs> Uh, the capture card wouldn't wouldn't pick up how quickly your friggin' thumbs are moving. It would just look like they're just stuck in place. Yeah. God, I love this game. Another flawless <laughs> run. All right, one more. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, fun fact. Um, you would have to, if you wanted, if you wanted Zero's weapon, mm -hmm. you'd have to go, you'd have to go get it and then come back and do this. I'm killing Next that part. even faster. Mm-hmm. Because part of the prerequisites for getting this thing is uh, you have to have all the upgrades. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if I would be able to do that. Oh, another flawless run. Unmas. I can't believe we used to do it by going back and forth. <laughs> yes, yeah, so well, I'm a you'll, uh, professional you'll get the live, 
was gonna say you'll get you'll get the lives back fast enough. Yeah. I'm a professional button masher. Yeah, you are. Oh my god, you know what we should do? What's that? It would be hilarious if we got... Just bear with me here. What if we were to get like three or four people from After Dark in a, in a stream, right? And yes. go live and then do a live react to Saber Rattle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be amazing. We could MST3K it. I like it. I like it. We should do it. We should do it tonight. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in the I'm gonna put that in the chat. And Aww. you got the hot open. Beautiful. Right at the right. hour mark too. Just Oh I know. Oh I know. <laughs> No, you know what? No, I, I, I want to actually. I actually kind of want to surprise them. Do it. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't put it in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> They're gonna see this beforehand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who's okay? But whose channel will we put it on? That's the thing. I mean, I have a channel technically. Okay. Like, like Kyber Cave, Kyber Cave members live react to Kyber Cave Saber Rattle. Yes. Oh. Oh, hang, hang the freak on. Let me... Did Mrs. Forrest say she was working tonight? Do you remember? I thought that was last night. And we have to have a way to, uh... Have Saber Rattle on. Like, on the screen. Right. And all of us on the screen. Mm-hmm. So, we should be able to set that up, right? Because that's just a, uh... Yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. And then we just, just get the three of us on the screen, and then we're watching it live. Yeah. Oh no, these are in sync. Alright, come on. Oh, you could have dash jumped that. I know. Oh, almost fell to the death. That's what I was avoiding. I mean, I think at least three of us would be willing to do that. You know? Mm-hmm. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Damn it. This is the worst part of the game for me. Just because of these jumps. Yeah. I'm not a good platformer. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that look at that double spot you got. I wait for that to light up. <laughs> survived it not the first time but all right yeah 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 because OBS allows um, a media source mm hmm so It's so cool. Oh, man. And uh, very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh. We're going to be striking some tragedy here. Vile. Alright, I just asked Mrs. Flores to see if she'd be in on that. <laughs> You, you, 
Just your... <laughs> How did you feel the first time you saw this? <sighs> you know, it, it didn't surprise me. But I was like, come on, Zero, really? I mean, he was like this great mentor and this great character that were like... We had like we have to be able to play him. Like why why can't we play as him? Uh, I've seen I some Mega Man games, but we got gypped on X3 though because like yeah he's strong and powerful, but once he's gone, he's gone. That's like it's it's almost like it's not even worth it. Yeah, I never use him in X3 ever because he's so fragile. Oh yeah, first time I used him was when the walls start closing in. You go up it. And he got killed immediately. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's great. <laughs> and if you beat a level with him, do you get to keep him? Yeah. Or okay, because I'm curious if anybody's ever done a zero run mm. in X3. Ooh, plot armor energy. Exactly. <laughs> He's got off-screen dodging. How do you get their armor? Missiles. Yeah. <laughs> he gone. Yep. So way more off me than I wanted to. But... Still. He done. Yep. Where are your legs, hero? <laughs> Okay, it's is got he motor oil coming out of my mouth? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right there is where he would give you the the zero buster. Okay. Gotta try that on a future run. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh. And there they are again. Oh my goodness. This is why I do this. <laughs> He's breathing heavy. Oh, shattered it. Got it. And that's how we refill energy. Ooh, lucky. <laughs> Look at that amazingness. Also why you use that. All right. Up oh, first. Ah, you got enough. Just launch them one at a time. He looks funny without his horns. <laughs> Doesn't he? I mean, it's, it's like, part of his personality. Like, my beard's part of mine. <laughs> just looks like a angry guy in his mid-40s without that thing on. <laughs> Aren't we all? Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not in my 40s yet. <laughs> Don't let these young looks deceive you, ladies. The gray Sa says it all. <laughs> That's right. Salem Salem's in his in his forties and uh he says I'm not a millennial. I can be part of his generation and I accept it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's like you people on your YouTubes <laughs> Yeah. And your Blu ray discs and your C D players. <laughs> He's only a couple years older than me. What was this spider's weakness? Do you remember? Nope. Never bothered with it, huh? Nope. If you if you know of one, you gotta, I'll be my guy in the chair. 
<laughs> chair it is. And he'll be dead by the time I figure it out. I mean, it's possible. It's rolling shield. Hmm. So... Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot more, does it? Not a whole lot, but I mean, you, you don't really have to worry much about having to jump and then hit that eye. I mean, it just takes it out. Yeah. Um, do it just to be safe. Sure. Why not? See that? Oh. It doesn't seem to be doing a lot more. No. It says optimum damage. I call bull hockey on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this particular boss just takes patience. Yeah. He's doing some weird patterns, though, today. Ooh, he bit that one anyway. Like, I've never had this many of him just stay on one side. You know? We got two more. Yep, last one. That's one stage down. Two more to go. Ah, the face one. I hate the face one. Did you know if you destroy the nose first, the walls stay closed and the eyes come out and you can't see them? Are they responding? Yeah. <laughs> She can't do it. Oh. Well, Anthony. I feel like he would do it. Anthony is working, I think. Okay. The fact that we're talking about this, like, during the recording is great. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the best part. It's like, we're formulating this, and then when this gets put up, you're gonna be like, what are they doing? Absolutely okay with me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Hado can these fools. Oh, you could have sunk that thing. Yeah. I know you're so used to like playing a certain style though. It's like, <laughs> I really am. You know, it's like, don't mess up his groove. <laughs> My buddy Dan and I were such Street Fighter junkies. When we got that move, we were like, everything dies to this. I mean, it sounds like the tagline from uh, Halloween Kills. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In case you didn't hear that, we'll say it 50 more times in the next half hour. That evil dies tonight. That's yeah, such a strange movie. It's nice that I took a I, I took time off from watching horror movies to watch horror movies this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> There, like right here, right here. Just freaking, just throw it at him. As soon as he, just as soon as he drops. I'm gonna try it. Okay. I'm gonna try it. He's gonna jump. Hit him with it. Oh, wait for it. Now hit him. He's got to be hit up front with it. 
because he'll do that. So it's got to be it's got to be the first thing you hit him with. It's really hard to do. I know. There it is. <laughs> there it is. All right. I'd say Steam Chameleon's really hard to do with that too. Uh, yeah, don't if even not me. impossible. I would go with impossible. I'm oh, sure dude, some people you know could I, do it, not me. <laughs> you know what I love about the Mech Riders? What's that? You can take it in against Magma Dragoon and win. Yeah, oh yeah. I could never beat him with it. I could get him down to like two hits left and then just sink him. But I could never actually use. I could never get his pattern good enough with the Mech Armor to win. Yeah, I can see that. Come on. Goodbye. Ooh. That's all right. It's just my boy, Storm Eagle. Forgot what his weakness was. Oh, it was Stink Chameleon. Dang. Does a decent amount of damage, too. Does he take more damage if he catches the spread? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Light. Oh, that was gorgeous. <laughs> I said I know his pattern pretty well too. <laughs> I'm usually able to damage him every time in, in the flight. I don't think anybody else can do it. I think Anthony's working. Aubrey can't do it. So, I'm still down for I'm still down for it if you are. Sure. You can give it a go. Nope, this guy's going to be impossible to do it too. Uh, who is <clears> it? <throat> it's the face. That's a no-go. Yeah. Because there's three parts. I mean, you can sink one part fast. The but nose? No way. No way. I don't want to do the nose first. I remember how I did it. I remember how I did it. It was a long time ago. So I dash jumped to the other side when the blue eye lit up. Mm -hmm. and, let, and let him come to me, and I just shot him straight out of the sky with it because he had to travel a longer distance. Yeah, this was a weird boss. I hate this boss. Ooh. Nice! Oh, some bad religion playing. That's cool. Hey, phone, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a work number. I don't know who the hell it is. You're not on a call tonight, are you? Oh, yeah. Crap. I get done in 12 hours. <laughs> I don't know who that was. That was a 219 number. That's not my work number. <laughs> Two one nine two. I don't know who that is. Spam. Probably. I used. Did I use a tank? 
Not during that one, you didn't. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Is it Sigma time? No. No, not yet. So a lot more Robot Masters to go. Oh, that's right. Speaking of which... Try it. Dang. All right, you can, you can. No? Okay. <laughs> uh. Dash jump to the other side of him? Or not? Armadillo, are you okay there, buddy? <laughs> he was, wow, he was angry. Look at him go! Alright, where's your energy weapon tank? <laughs> if this is how we're gonna play this, that's fine. I'll play it that way too. <laughs> I know this is the game we're playing. That's fine. Wow, a little tit for tat there. <laughs> He was angry, like, you ain't beating me a second time. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, it's gonna work a little harder. Apparently just wanna be cheap, that's fine. That's fine. Dude, you wanna know what other Capcom game was freaking amazing back during this era? What's that? Breath of Fire. Yes. I was all about that game. Matter of fact, I still have my extremely tattered, stupidly poor condition Breath of Fire 3 game guide. Nice. Man oh man is it in poor condition. As a matter of fact, when I got my PS1 Classic, it was the first thing I played. Really? Oh, yeah. I was Jones to play that game. You know, I don't never play as many RPGs as I should have, quite honestly. Which is a shame. So I like them. I just, I'm, I guess I'm very picky when it comes to my RPGs, though. So. That's perfectly fine. Many people are. Like the JRPGs? Mm-hmm. I, I like some of them. Not all okay, of them, though, this guy today. here, you can sink him. Real quick. Nope. <laughs> Man, he's not participating either. They're, yeah, stick up their butts today. They do. So I can look at him though. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not giving you the time of the day here. You're not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, RPGs though, it just. If there's a lot, a lot of grinding, I have bigger issues with them, which I'm, which is funny because I did sit and just with my controller and um, Final Fantasy VII, I did sit there with the rubber band method and just sat in the field and had X pressed the entire time for like three days straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And quite honestly, the older I got with having kids, I just didn't have the time to do RPGs as much as I wanted to. Yeah, with me having older teenagers, I can do this as much as I please now. Alright, you can die any day now. 
He is blocking that rolling shield. Goodbye. He's no match for my trigger finger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I have this discussion with Salem all the time about time frames and great games I should be playing. I, I don't have the time. It's like, you know, Nintendo fanboy. I'm like, I wouldn't call myself a Nintendo fanboy. Well, I'm like, I would call myself a someone doesn't have a lot of time. So the ability to just sit and play 30 minutes of a game at a time is easier for me. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, dude, we have some horror stuff to go through coming up uh, in the new year. We're going to have um, Resident uh, Resident Evil mm -hmm. 4. Yeah. And that's going to be really cool. Uh, ask me how many I played through completion. <laughs> what, how many Resident Evils you played through to completion? Yeah. Probably none. Yep. But, I mean, you know, kind of the way that we're doing Last of Us is kind of how I want to go through Resident Evil. But having, but again, having the horror buff on there with me would be the oh, best yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, I have them all. That's the thing. I have all these games. It's the time. I don't have the time. I wish I had the time. We'll make time. I mean, essentially, yeah. Okay, what is this guy's weakness? Who is it? The two-part machine car. Oh, jeez. Because I've always just done X-Buster. Uh, let's see. This is Sigma's third or fourth stage? Third. I want to say it's shock. Ice? Shock. Yeah, spark. Yep. And if you charge it up, it'll really take a nice chunk out of him. So I have to fill one sub tank for Sigma. I'm okay with that. I was gonna say rolling shield and just go up and down the stupid thing and you got it. That's true too. But time wise, I, I, I always it's my playing style. I always just go back here. Mm-hmm. Because it's like I said, just don't jump on that stupid thing and you're Pretty quick on the end. Yeah, typically you really don't need the the tanks to beat Sigmund, though, do you? Just oh no, I needed all four last time. I don't think I've ever done a run without using them. Like I've, I think I've done a run with only using one. Because I hot uh the dog and Sigma, but then when we went, in, we went into phase three, that that just wasn't happening. No. It's actually easier in two, because X launches himself forward and up with the Shoryuken, and it, like it's it's just about guaranteed to hit anything. So it's 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 a really cool hmm. it's a really cool method, and you can knock a lot out. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sigma. I'd like to see your... When we do that, obviously you're the next two. Get to that. 
just because mm. I've never seen mm. it done. And because I'll be recording, I'll screw it up every time. Watch. <laughs> Imagine if it was live in front of people playing the music. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, oh. He shatters. Yes. Man, where's my boy? My dog should have gone against his dog. Fun fact, that's Zero Saber from uh, 4. Sub tanker already. Oh, now you can hit him with Hot Oaken. Uh huh. Never mind. In theory. Yeah. He would fall to it. It don't matter. He's done. Yep. Yes. Well done. One more. One more. That's all it takes. Alright, come on, let me switch weapons. Let me switch weapons. Be right with you. Alright. Sigma. Ooh, good dodge. You stink. There you go, you're playing nicer this time. Yes, keep this up. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. He's not as angry as the last bosses were. Mm -mm. He's much nicer this time. Very nicer. And match. 
Dang it. Freaking frame skip. He done. Woo! I only used two sub tanks. That was a good run. Yes, lot first first recording was all four. Seriously. That was about an hour and a half, not too bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> For a hundred percent? Mm-hmm. All right, this time we're going to make sure we get the end credit scene, too, to lead into X2. Mm -hmm. That's how Sigma comes back. He's just a virus. <laughs> Good for us, fours. I'm going to wait for it to move up a little bit so that I'm not <laughs> all caught. Okay, there we go. The war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice themselves for the victory will never return. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. People read slower back in 1991. <laughs> yeah. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? <laughs> Worst music of the game, right here. <laughs> Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his robot pain last? Maybe only the X Buster on his hand knows for sure next time on Mega Man <laughs> find out next time on Mega Man X2 <laughs> oh <laughs> finger cramps <laughs> yeah because <laughs> you have to be quick with that wall and be know how to wall jump tremendously especially that face boss mm-hmm <laughs> When I was young, did no, it destroyed my hands. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a shame we don't get to see the enemies like you do in Super Mario World. Mm -hmm. They just list them. You know, Thunder Slimer. I don't know what a Thunder Slimer is, but Death Row Goomer. Rolling Gabby Roll. <laughs> Jaminger? <laughs> Jaminger. Axe Max. RT 55J. <laughs> D Rex. Oh man. He's going back along this F Zero highway with the F City background behind him. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? it looks like it F Zero. Does. At some point, we have to do uh, Mega Man X Hunter in comparison. Oh, um, oh, Maverick X Hunter. Yeah, because it's different. It's the same yeah, game, I got but one for you. we got to do Mega Man Soccer. Yes. <laughs> yes. As long as we're not doing the battle nets, I'm okay. <laughs> never cared for them. I never got into them. No. Sigma, what about his dog? Stigma. We didn't see his dog's name? Set him. Oh, doggy. Yes. And you. <laughs> As Mega Man X. Yay. Yay. I'm Mega Man. Pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my light guns. I have the picture from Mega Man 1. <laughs> Fox art. <laughs> I have to let I have to let this go, right? Oh yeah, it it doesn't take long, and then Sigma shows up on the screen. So you, we should almost I'll give you this recording, and then you should do previously on, <laughs> and have that 
as like the cliffhanger leading to Mega Man X2 recording. I totally could. Yeah. Professor F. <laughs> because Professor X was out at the time. Right, exactly. X Men. <laughs> He was, he, was, he was helping us. Pre- Welcome to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's done. So Sigma will come up in just a second. Yep. Thanks for playing. Presented by Couple Couple. Your princess is in another castle. Play again. <laughs> oh, ghosts and goblins. True sorry, Mega Man. Roll is in another castle. She's got a vacuum for her hand, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like she was done such injustice in the cartoon. Alright, there we go. You have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. <laughs> All right. Yay. Well, I want to thank you for joining uh, Fours and I here on the Retro Alcove, part of Kyber Cave Gaming. Check us out. We have live shows every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to and su- Thursday and Thursdays now too. Yes, don't forget to like and subscribe and join on Patreon. Costs only a dollar a month at minimum. It helps.